Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Valkyria Chronicles. Now it has actually been a while since I played this game. For multiple reasons. The, the recording device I use takes up too much hard drive so I have to work with it as I go. I can't just go right into it so... Some things have changed because instead of using the keyboard I now have a controller which for this game is actually pretty helpful because it was originally for the PS3. Isara, Martha, please be okay. Martha! What's her problem? Is she pregnant or just fat? Who cares? Not gonna make any difference when she's dead. Don't do it, man. Don't do it, Steve Stop Bloom. This now. See what she's wearing? Take a good look at that shawl. She's a dark sin. Then that explains it. I thought this place stunk. Now I know it does. So we got ourselves a fat one and a stinky one. P.U. It's a regular pig farm in here. I will thank you to watch your tongue in this house. You have to leave now. That's a big gun for such a little girl. Drop it. Isara! Huh? Hold it right there! Ah, oh, get posted! I'm not gonna shoot my gun for no reason. Dark son pig. Isara, are you okay? Sara kicking ass. To you. But Martha, I think she's Martha! This isn't good. She's gone into labor. Moving her would be dangerous. Right. Well, we can't just leave her here. What are we gonna do? There are a lot of Imperials out there, Ys. It's only a matter of time before they take over the Mill Plaza. Welks, listen. The barn out back. What about it? Our fathers have left us something. Fathers? Something that might get us out of this mess. Now, I don't know how it differs between the game and the anime, which I've actually, in the first part, I said I haven't seen it yet. I've, in this like year gap I've actually managed to watch it and uh, I don't know about fathers in the show she was adopted by his dad's tank whoa I can't believe it's still here and it's one of a kind here it is, the Edelweiss. Tamer built it especially for General Gunther. Yeah, and it worked great, too. So it's just been parked here in the barn? I wanted to make sure it would still operate, you know, in case of emergencies. I enrolled in a maintenance class given by the military. I wanted to be able to do what my father could do. Well, that's great. But that's only a class, Isara. It really didn't need much. Hardly any alterations at all. I just fitted it with a new turbine engine. It really improves on the power to weight ratio. The Edelweiss is field worthy. Its firepower and mobility are more than a match for recent models. Well, assuming it does work, what's next? All right, Welks, you took the armored vehicle course, didn't you? Yeah, back in high school, once. We'll bring Martha here. We're good hands. She'll be safe inside the tank. And we can move to a better location. Just leave the driving to me, okay? All you have to do is give the orders. Aye, aye. So, am I the only one getting the feeling of Superman? Da, 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 da. Isara, Just a different kind of Superman. Engaging engine. 
The Edelweiss is ready for deployment. Dodging bullets, buying time for people to evacuate. This is a bomb be right. Here's the plan. We're gonna pick up Alicia and get out of town. All right, Edelweiss, move out. Speed, mobility, agility. The Edelweiss. Now, we get to go to the mission. We get a tank! Dude, I've got a tank! What, what, what? Here's the brief for this operation. Where the hell did you come from? Alright. The, the enemy is a squad centered around a single tank. Currently advancing from the plaza onto the main road. We need to defend the gate on that road. If the enemy breaches it, the evacuation townspeople will be in danger. Seems like a simple defense mission. They'll probably head for the gate and try to destroy it. The tank will be with them. Our goal here is to take out the tank while keeping the gate standing. Without the help of your tank, it's next to impossible for us to destroy their tank. Until we can rendezvous the Burl Town Watch, we'll do everything we can to keep the gate in one piece. The Town Watch will need you to hold off the enemy forces until they arrive with the tank. We'll need to use the sandbags around the starting point and gate for cover to hold back the Empire's attack. Alright, victory. Enemy tank is destroyed. Burl's main gate is destroyed. Welcome dies. Alicia dies. 20 turns passed. Alright, let's begin. We've got to stop them here. Aye, aye, Alisa. Alicia. Alisa, Alicia. 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 So, I'm holding off a set amount of turns until a tank comes. If this gate falls, there's going to be even more casualties among the townspeople. We won't let it fall. The town watch will defend this gate so as many people as possible can get away. Yes, we will. Got a second? Listen close and I'll explain. I'm listening. Da -da -da. By moving behind sandbags and selecting crouch, a unit's defenses are maximized and extra damage for headshots is negated. When focused on defense or ending one's turn, it's always best to hide this way. Contrarily, this means that enemies hiding behind cover are well protected and more difficult to defeat as well. This is why the hand grenade is used. The explosive powers can destroy sandbags. Press the X button to toggle by the cycle through the hand grenades. It's better. Oh, at least I have some grenades. Grenades are limited in number, so use them wisely. Each player phase units will cover one hand grenade. <sighs> this is gonna suck. Cause I'm pretty sure none of these guys have line of sight. Ooh. How good your chances. Very. Oh, gotta take it. Do it! Wow, you suck. So right now, my main object- no! It looks like my main objective is to get these guys down by cover. Because for some reason, they haven't automatically done that for themselves. Can he go up? Can he go up? No, he can't go in there. Shit. Well, since I'm here, might as well take some pot shots. If it hits him, it's golden, but it's probably gonna miss. Oh, yeah. Golden. I mean, apart from the fact that it didn't kill him. So what I'm going to guess is happening is the tank's going to come down this main street. These guys are probably going to follow suit, try and take cover behind these sandbags. But I can't destroy them because... The enemy is probably going to be coming down this route as well. But that... No, I probably can get away with destroying this first one. Because the enemy is not going to have enough movement to get along here. And if they do get in there, I've lost automatically, so... My turn, okay? It, yes, I know. 
Hmm. The question now is, do I want to destroy potential cover or take pot shots at the enemy, hoping I take them out? See how this grenade will go. Alright, pot shots it is. Nope, that's healing. I do not want to... No, no, no. Okay, fine. Seventeen hits to kill. Jesus Christ, he's not gonna die. No. Domed. And that tank's gonna come in and it's gonna fuck some shit up. So I want to keep them separate because that tank's gonna launch a volley. Other than that, there's nothing much I can do. These guys are too far out of my range. And that tank's gonna blow me up. All right, see what you got. Oh, they got more command points. I don't know why you're shooting. You're not gonna do anything. Please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Ah, uh, shit, biscuits. Where the hell is he going? Oh, hey, look, you're shooting. You shot the gate. You motherfucker. Knew it. Put him down. Ah, oh, you couldn't. I need that tank, like, immediately. I need you to do something. I need you to do something. You let me down. Tank and he's golden. Called it. Ah, oh, he was fucking moving. Cause if he even gets in that line, wait, no, I don't know if he gets in that line or if it's the destroy destruction of the gate. Ow! 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 You have a machine gun, sir. And you're way too strong for any of my bullets to be of effect. Oh, this is not going well. How long do I have to wait for that fucking tank? Haha. Uh -huh. That was a command point. So that'll do it for them. On to me. I know what Ragnit is. Don't need that. It's a health. So... The tank's gotta go. But... Stop shooting me, asshole. 30 shots? Jesus Christ, I'm never gonna kill him. Holy crap. And he's dead. Sir, you're a worthless piece of shit. Did anyone ever let you know that? Just put this guy out of his misery. Wow! Wow! You- you serious? Oh my god. Can't shoot again, I have to use another command point to shoot. How about this time you don't fuck it up? There you go. 
You didn't make a nice outline of him on the wall. That's a start. My turn, okay? Yeah, I know. Shots to kill and take too many. 27 shots to kill him. That's too many. And I don't want to use that last command point. I got it. I got it in my turn. There's nothing I can do. I don't have anything strong enough to take out a tank. He's going to have spare units around. That tank's... Bro, yep, there it goes. Oh, it's shooting the gate again. Well. No. If... Thanks, a Maybe you should have something more useful than a goddamn grenade. Where the fuck is he going? Oh, he's grenading the fucking gate. And more reinforcements. Did he ever say how long it's going to take for my tank to get here? Yes, Vulcan. You're a welcome sight for sore eyes. Entering combat. Boy, are you far. The tank should be able to breach that wall. It may provide us with a shortcut, Welks. All right, let's give it a shot. Hang in there, Alicia. Tanks possess firepower and endurance far beyond that of a foot soldier. That it does. This makes them a solid wall for your own ground troops to hide behind. Unlike ground units, however, tanks do not recover a portion of their loss HP. I'll learn. Oh, Mr. Gate! You and I have a nice little day! Enemy sighted! Enemy sighted! <gasps> It's a tank! It's a galleon tank! Yeah, it is, boy. Alicia, I'm sorry we're late. Welkin, you have a tank? Yeah, I do. We can talk later. Right now, we need to stop those soldiers. Enemy tanks sighted, Welks. Switching to anti-tank combat. Armor-piercing shells loaded. Oh, this is gonna be glorious. All right, let's go take it down. Glory be to me. Oh, I'm done. Can't move. Enemy Going combat. again. Room, motherfucker, room. I want to get as close as possible before I take this shot. The tank has three major means of attack. Anti-armor shells, explosive mortar rounds, and mountain machine guns. Anti-armor shells are effective against enemies' cover in hard armor, such as tanks. Mortar blasts are hit by... Which one do I have attack? Anti-armor? Yes, that's just what I want. Three shots. If this misses, that's going to fuck me. Gotta risk it! Boom! That looks like it hurt. It's going to be a risk because I do not know if the tank gets a second shot, but... Here we go. If I want to take out their tank, it's something I gotta risk. There it does. 
I hope this hurts. Boom! He gone. He gone. It. Nice work, Ys. Woohoo! Now you're my hero, Welkin. Weird. The Imperials are running off for now. Looks like we bought some time at least. Welks! Welks! It's a boy! What the Martha fuck? had a boy! She had a baby in the middle of that? She gave birth in Dad's tank? <laughs> Welkin's one, man. What? Yes, and without complications. They're both perfectly healthy. How did we not notice that? Good. That's fantastic. Now let's stay sharp as we head out of town. I gotta rank the Bronze. I didn't do too well. A new episode has been added. Might as well watch it. Two hours after the first shots were fired, Bruel was under Imperial control. Though a mere skirmish by Empire standards, the raid on Bruel would mark Welkin Gunther's first taste of battle and begin his rise to a Galleon hero. Oh, so he becomes a hero, does he? Yeah, he does. Alicia. I thought I would be ready for this. I knew war meant this might happen. It hurts. Seeing my town overrun like this, seeing all those people killed, it's just not right. How could all this happen? It isn't human, Welkin. We look at those birds and see how wild and free they are. But they all have their own territories. If anything threatens their home, They'll risk their lives to defend it. People are animals too. We do what we have to, when we have to. Animals are in a constant struggle to stay alive, but I've also seen them help each other, almost like they were cooperating in order to survive. Cooperating? That's why I'm so into studying natural science. That coexistence. I want to know how it works. If we could figure that out, mankind could put it to use for our own survival. That's why I want to be a teacher, so that I can pass that knowledge on to the children. I mean, even if we can't completely eliminate war, at least we might learn to live together as one people. You think so? No. Welks, look. Martha fell asleep, so that makes me the babysitter. See, Alicia? Oh, no, I broke the baby's neck already. How did this happen? Oh, he's adorable. Just like you said, even in war, new life happens all around us. Come here. Look, okay. that's your hometown. Burning to the ground. Someday, we'll come back home again. Yes. Someday soon. I know it. Chapter Vassal three. Urban Vassal War. Urban Warfare. So in this episode it looks like we're gonna have uh, maybe a skirmish, cutscene, 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 skirmish, cutscene, cutscene. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of cutscenes between the skirmishes. All right, let's see where we're at. Yeah, we're about 30 minutes, I'd say, so that'll do it for this part. We'll be back to 
in the next chapter, don't worry. Vassal urban warfare is not going anywhere. We'll get to it. But until then, you stay sexy. Bye.